Hey everyone, welcome back to our blogging mini-series. In this video, let's dive into how we create and customize our blog posts right here from the blogging dashboard. There are two different modes here in the builder for how you make changes to a blog post. We have something called layout mode and post mode. Layout mode is where you make changes universally to the blog. It's how you configure the format that every blog post will display, and any changes you make in layout mode will automatically apply to all past and future posts in the blog. Post mode, however, is how it sounds. It's how you customize the specific content in any individual post. On our left panel here, let's click into Edit Layout. And here I welcome you to Layout Mode, and it's here that we can design and customize the framework for every single post in our blog. As you'll find here, along with any page you edit in the builder, everything you see is customizable and very simple to revise. Our first row here will automatically populate with the post image that you've set for each post. Same goes here for our post title and post author and publish date. The words themselves will update to match your configuration in the settings, but it's the style that we can play around with right here. Let's right click on our title text and we'll select edit design. And here we get a pop-up panel with tons of customization options for our title text. We can change the font, size, color, format, alignment, and all kinds of good stuff. And once again, remember that the changes you make here in layout mode will automatically flood throughout every post in the entire blog. Let's scroll down to the next row, where we have more placeholder text, which as before will populate with your posts subtitle here and your posts full body content. Scrolling down, we have a few more rows with a variety of widgets to increase engagement. We have a share widget here, allowing the viewer to share the post on a variety of social media platforms. Let's click on the widget and let's click into the design section. Here you can change the layout style of the icons, change the icon size, spacing, etc. And of course you're welcome to delete this widget by either clicking the red X here on the widget or by just removing its row, which you can do up here by clicking on row and then delete. The next row contains a Facebook comments feature, which is awesome. And finally we have a blog widget down at the bottom allowing the user to click to other blogs and continue reading. Let's click right on this widget. Now I'm going to cover blog widgets in more detail in the next video, but you have a tremendous amount of control here for what shows to the viewer. You can filter them by tags, customize button text, toggle on or off various elements. If we click into the design section, we can pick from a variety of visual layouts for the posts. We can determine how many are initially visible, followed by literally dozens of design and style controls for how they appear on the page. Let me close out of this panel. Finally, I want to point out our widgets panel here on the left. Throughout your entire website builder, you have the ability to choose from dozens of widgets here and incorporate them throughout your site. And when you're working here in layout mode, we have all the same capabilities at our fingertips as a normal page on our website. You can add widgets, add rows, anything you want, giving you all the freedom imaginable to properly build your blog post foundation here in layout mode. Now I want to take a quick look at post mode. Now clicking back to our blog panel, let's click directly into our first blog post. There we go looks a little bit different. This is where we can make content changes to this particular post only, but you'll notice that it still follows the exact same format we just went over in layout mode. Our top row, once again, you can now see the post image populated here, along with the title and date. If you need to make changes to any of these elements, you can do so in the post settings that we explored earlier. Our next row is where you'll focus your attention here in post mode, and that's where we put our post's body content. Now all of this text is customizable. Click a couple times inside here until we get our text cursor. You can type as much as you want, format the text just like any other text in your site. And since this is our body content row, you can add anything else you want here from the widgets panel. Want to add an image? No problem. Let's jump into our widgets. We'll grab our image widget, drag it out and drop it right above this body text here. And then we'll be prompted to select an image, and we can use any of our own content by uploading it, or simply pick a selection from our powerful stock image search library. Simply select one, and it's added into our post in no time. And once we're done making changes, we'll give a click to republish post. And just like that, our post is updated accordingly in all spots of the website where the blog is accessible. Lastly, let's go back to our blog panel, and let's click new post and we're presented with a pop-up to jumpstart our brand new blog by adding a title, author, and main image. So let's add a title. Top 10 DIY hacks for the holidays. For author, we can type anything we want here. And main image, let's click into it. 
and let's do a stock image search for Thanksgiving images. We'll select one and load it in. Awesome. And remember, all of this can always be edited later. Now let's click Start. And there we go. We're in our brand new post, and just like before, we can scroll down here to customize our body content. We can update our subtitle, add, revise, or remove the imagery here. And just like we expect, everything still follows the parameters that we've already configured in layout mode. Let's click up here to Done. And as we can see, our new post sits here on the very top of our list, and we can click here on Publish, and that's it. Our new post is live and viewable anywhere on the site where blogs are visible. One more video to go here in our series, and we're going to talk about blog widgets and how to utilize them and incorporate them throughout various pages of your full website. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.